the Queen embarked on her final journey through Scotland as her coffin was moved from Balmoral to Edinburgh on Sunday. Mourners lined up the streets of Scotland to say goodbye to a monarch many in the area considered like a neighbour after years of Her Majesty spending her summers in the nation. During the live coverage of the Queen's final journey, a group of farmers in Aberdeenshire was noted to have parked their tractors to mimic a guard of honour in a final salute to the late sovereign. Aerial footage of the procession showed around 60 tractors parked on both sides of the main road. Farmers could be seen standing in front of the vehicles observing as the car carrying the Queen's coffin passed them by. Past the fields, more locals could be seen waiting by their cars to bid farewell to Her Majesty as she made her way from Balmoral to Edinburgh. In Periculture, riders lined up on horseback to pay respect to the Queen, whose love for horses accompanied her throughout her life. The journey took over six hours and saw the procession drive through Aberdeen, Dundee and Perth before arriving in Edinburgh, where it was met by large crowds lining up the Queen's Ferry Road into the city centre. Just in, the Queen leaves Balmoral for last time, her coffin draped in flowers from estate Aberdeenshire farmers paid tribute to the Queen in their own special way, image. Sky News, the tractors lined up both sides of the road in a makeshift guard of honor, image, Sky News, villagers lined up the streets to say their final goodbye to the Queen, image, Getty, on Twitter, social media users were very appreciative of the special tributes locals have been putting up. At Putney underscore Scott said, she would have loved that. Commenting on the horse riders tribute, at Love Family Wallace said, Aw another lovely tribute. At Europe's Royals commented, such a lovely way to honor her. And at Plum Pudding Pigs said, oh goodness that set me off again. Read more, Princess Anne Ashen faced as she follows Queen's coffin from Balmoral mourners in Bankery observe the hearse carrying the Queen's coffin, image, Getty, Scots in Dunfermline stopped their cars on the motorway to see the procession pass, image, Sky News. The coffin was draped in the Royal Standard of Scotland and with a wreath on top made up of flowers from the Balmoral Estate, including sweet peas, one of Elizabeth's favourites. In the nearby village of Ballater, hundreds stood beside the road in silence as the hearse passed, some throwing flowers into the road. Elizabeth Alexander, who was born on the day the Queen was crowned, said, it's like a family member, it overwhelms, the sadness, that she's not going to be with us. Princess Anne and her husband Sir Timothy Lawrence have been tasked with escorting the Queen for her final journey through Scotland back to England. Don't miss, Harry's rift with William gone from bad to worse after Queen's death, video Queen who left a lasting legacy of hope for us all. Express comment Royal Poll, should shops close and events be cancelled this weekend? Poll, trending Princess Anne curtsied to the Queen's coffin upon arriving at Holyrood House, image, Sky News, the Queen's coffin was met by large crowds line up along Queen's Ferry Road in Edinburgh, image, Sky News, mourners have been leaving behind carpets of flowers, cards and even the odd Paddington bear, image, Getty. Onlookers described the emotional moment as they bade a quiet farewell to the only queen we've ever known. Council officials have estimated as many as 5,000 people have been bused to Balmoral from the nearby villages of Ballater and Bramer since Friday. A woman who drove four hours from Northumberland said, I just had to be here, said the 64-year-old, who did not wish to be named. It was very calm. She's at peace at last. In her faith she believes she'll be with Philip again and that's lovely to think that could be. Mourners could not hold back their tears as the Queen's coffin passed, image, Getty, a man in Ballater observes as the procession with the Queen's coffin passes by, image, Getty, the Queen spent her summers in Scotland for most of her life, both at the royal residence of Balmoral and at Glamis Castle home to her grandfather Claude Bose Leone, the Earl of Strathmore and Kinghorn. Ailey McIntosh, who left her home at 6 a.m. to be sure of a good view on Edinburgh's famous Royal Mile, said, 
there was no way I could miss this. I would regret it for the rest of my life, said she never let us down and I didn't want to let her down either. Now she has gone there is a big hole in the heart of the nation. Many thousands have already gathered at royal palaces in the days since Elizabeth's death, and large piles of flowers are massing as people visit to pay their respects.